Hello kids! Welcome to another English Tastic Lesson where learning English is always fun and fantastic. I'm Teacher Janine, your English Tastic Teacher. Have you been to a hot spring before? How does it look like? Did you know that we have our very own Tumanan Hot Spring? Today, we will be visiting the Tumanan Hot Spring as we try to learn how to form the plural form of regular nouns and use them in sentences. I know you are already excited for our adventure, but before we get started, you have first to prepare your paper, your pencil, and your learning activity sheets. Welcome to the Monan Hot Spring. This famous landmark can be found at Barangay Toonan, Ormoc City. And now that we are here, let us begin our first game. It is called Noun Hunt. I will show you a picture and you have to find a person a place, an animal, or things. And then write their names in your worksheets. Let us now check the picture. I spy some birds. Can you see it? Yes, there are five birds in the picture. Next, I spy a monkey. Do you see any other monkey? There is only one monkey. I spy a boy. Do you see it? Is there any other boy in the picture? Good! There is only one boy in the picture. I spy a house. How many houses can you see? Yes, there is only one house. And lastly, I spy some clouds. Do you see it? How many clouds can you see in the picture? Yes, there are three clouds. Let us now try to read the nouns in the picture. Birds. Monkey, boy, house, and clouds. Let us study the words as we put them into two columns. We have group A, monkey, boy, and house. For group B, we have birds and clouds. These words are nouns. Did you know that nouns can have singular and plural forms? Group A are words that mean only one. They are in the singular form. How about group B? They are words that mean more than one. They are in the plural form of the noun. It is so easy to understand. If the noun is just one, it is a singular noun. But if it is already more than one, you have to change it to its plural form. And now there are rules that you have to follow if you are going to change the singular noun to a plural noun. Rule number one, add S to a singular noun to change it into a plural noun. Example, eggplant. You just have to add an S to the end of the word. So it becomes eggplant. Banana, bananas. Table, tables. Rule number two, 
you need to add an ES to the singular nouns that ends in Z, O, CH, SH, X, and S. Examples Potato, Potatoes, Church, Churches, Box, Boxes. Rule number three. When the singular noun ends with Y following a vowel letter, the plural is formed by retaining the Y and adding an S to the end. For examples, tray becomes trays. Monkey, monkeys. Toy, toys. Now that you already know the rules to follow in changing the plural form of regular nouns, let us test your knowledge. Let us go to our next game. It is called Crossword Puzzle. This is our crossword puzzle. You can use the picture as clue and look for the singular noun in the puzzle. Circle the singular noun in the puzzle and write them again in the singular noun column below. Then form its plural form on the second column by adding either S or ES. Using the picture as a clue, let us look for the first singular noun in the crossword puzzle. Can you see the banana in the puzzle? Now, what is the plural form of banana? That's correct. The answer is bananas. Let us now go to the second picture. Can you find the papaya in the crossword puzzle? Great! Let us encircle the papaya in the puzzle. Now, what is the plural form of papaya? That's correct! The plural of papaya is papayas. Now, let us try the third picture. Can you see your glass in the crossword puzzle? Wonderful! Let us now encircle the glass in the crossword puzzle. Now, what is the plural form of glass? That's correct! You add an ES to make it glasses. Now, let's go to the next picture. Can you find the dog in the crossword puzzle? You're doing great! Let us now encircle the word dog in the crossword puzzle. Now, what is the plural form of dog? That's correct. The plural of dog is dogs. And for the last picture, can you look for the word dish in the crossword puzzle? Excellent! Let us now encircle the word dish in the crossword puzzle. Now, what is the plural form of the word dish? That is correct. The plural of dish is dishes. Our next activity is called Put It in the Right Box. In your worksheet, you can find two boxes labeled Add S or Add an ES. Above it, there are five singular nouns. You have to draw a line to which box it should go. Let us now check your answer. For the noun book, it should go to the box, add S to become books. For the hero, it should go to the box, 
add an ES to become heroes. For the ball, it should go to the box, add S to become balls. And for the noun class, it should go to the box, add an ES to become classes. And for the noun orange, it should go to the box, add S to become oranges. For our next activity, it is called Choose What You Like. I have prepared three different kinds of activities. You don't need to do all of them. You just need to choose one activity that you want to do. Do you like to draw? Maybe this activity is for you. For this type of activity, you have to look for objects inside your house. Draw them and then write the plural form of these nouns by adding S or ES. After that, use them in a sentence. If you don't like drawing, then you can do this next type of activity. It is called Let Us Write a Poem. You have to make a short poem using any nouns in its correct plural form. Don't forget to encircle the plural nouns that you have used. Do you like to sing? Then this activity is for you. It is called Let Us Sing. Look for any song or make your own song using the plural form of the noun. Try to sing this song and send the video to your teacher. Wow! That was so fun! I am already excited to see your outputs for those activities. In our lesson for today, we have learned that nouns that are one in quantity are called singular nouns, while nouns that are more than one in quantity are called plural nouns. We have also learned the different rules that we need to follow in changing the singular noun into its plural form. And now, for your final activity, write the correct plural form of the singular noun inside the parenthesis by adding S or ES to complete the sentence. For your additional activity, you can make a small booklet of singular and plural nouns. Just follow the example I have given on your worksheets. It was indeed a fun and productive learning for us. I am looking forward to another English Tastic learning with you. Once again, I am Teacher Janine, your English Tastic teacher. See you next time!